Hello VC, how's everyone doing today? Thanks for joining me on this, uh, what do we got, Tuesday. Tuesday, beautiful sunny day here on the west coast of Canada. Our temperatures are back up to like 15-ish, uh, 16. And uh, spring is in the air. And uh, yeah, exciting stuff. There's uh, a couple of record fairs coming up. I'm actually going to have a table at my first record fair. So I've been purging lots of stuff. I filled two crates. And uh, yeah, I can make some, make some room. I'm going to give up a couple of grails and uh, hope, but I want to get some other ones. So it's, it's a win-win, right? I just figure things that I don't listen to anymore that much, I mean, you just have them for the, for the sake of having them, right? And I guess there's some things that I hold near and dear to my heart that I would never get rid of. And then there's some things that are just taking up space and I have a limited amount of room and I don't think my wife will allow me to get another Ikea shelf. <laughs> so I got to make do with what I got. Anyway, so that brings me to the subject of today's video. So one of my grails that I've been collecting over the last couple of years is the Japanese Beatles flag series. And uh, this was a series that started in 1976 uh, on Apple Records Japan. And uh, there was 29 in the series, and then they added between 77 and 1980 another 10 on uh, on the EMI label. So, cheers, everyone. So yeah, so the first the first 29 are pretty much the essential Beatles albums. Things like the Red and the Blue are added in there. Uh, things like what else is in there that's different? Oh, I don't know. But yeah, pretty much the studio albums. Anyway, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in the series that I'd like to share with you if I can today. So this is the series. So this is uh, number one in the series. This is, of course, Please Please Me. Uh, they come with this OB strip, which is a paper strip that wraps around the record. Uh, the flag series being that the portrait of the Beatles was behind a Union Jack flag, or if it was the American release, the U.S. flag. Uh, these, everyone loves that noise, right? So I, I've been spending some time collecting these. I obviously wanted to get um, ones that were as mint as possible. So I've, I've bought these in a variety of dis different places. I've, I've bought them on Discogs from Japan. I've seen them at local record stores. I got one at an antique mall. I've gotten them uh, at record fairs. Just, just whatever it all happens to be. So they come in these rice paper inner sleeves that are famous for the, the half uh, circle on them. You can see the Apple label. You can see uh, this is pretty much as new as it was in 1976. There's not a scratch on this. And this comes with the inner booklet. This is one of the great things about most of the Japanese pressings. They used to come with some sort of inner sleeve. Uh, this has the lyrics in English and in Japanese. So there's Twist and Shout. For those of you that read Japanese, you'll read this side. And those of you that read English will read this side. And um, this has some great, uh, a great photo of John. And uh, continuation of the lyrics. And there's Paul. And there's George and Ringo. Now, interestingly, the photos don't match up with the release um, of Please Please Me. They were very polished, as you all know, back at that time, under the control of Mr. Epstein and what their look should be like. And uh, the insert photos are obviously from a little later on. So, yeah, so this is... 
This is what we call complete. This has the obi, it has the inner, it has the rice paper. Um, so this would be a complete, uh, please please me, number one in the Beatles flag series. Uh, yeah, I don't have uh, number two, Meet the Beatles, but I have uh, Hard Day's Night. Which is one of my particularly particular favorite albums. So again, really nice obi. That's in uh, really good condition. It's got a little wrinkle right there, but looking really good. And uh, on the inside again, that's what the inner looks like for this one. Again, the English. And the Japanese and again just a beautiful pressing on the Apple label a little bit of dust but other than that and just just a favorite album from the early Beatles Hard Day's Night I'll leave that okay I won't take them all out but as an example Here's uh, number four in the series, uh, Beatles for Sale. Again, in really nice condition. I'm just going to slide, slide the OB down to the corner. This, of course, is the gatefold. And also with the inner sleeve. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just not even a, a corner mark, just a beautiful, beautiful uh, rendition of Beatles for Sale. Now, it's not just about the beauty and the artwork and the obi strip and the rice paper and the insert. We've got to talk about the sound. And, yeah, there's lots of argument for the extra money we spend on the Japanese pressings. Uh, isn't that the sound is, I'm not going to say far superior, but there's, there is a definite noticeable, uh, difference, uh, in the clarity. The vinyl itself, as in the wax, is usually, uh, a better, purer quality. So therefore the sound translates better. Um, the pressings are usually from the original master tapes, whereas other countries tend to get a copy of the tapes and then print or press uh, from those copies. So from my understanding, these were done from the original UK Abbey Road master tapes. Now this one's a little bit different. This one's chronologically number 18 and you can see the US flag. Uh, this is something new. So this is the uh, US release. I didn't set out to buy this one. I was trying to get one through 29 in order and uh, some of the latter ones, ones weren't really on my radar. Um, but this one was just in beautiful shape and uh, just stumbled upon it in my local record store. So I had to get it. It is a favorite of Beatles collectors for the actual layout of the songs on this for their early work and um, it's complete also with the the inner and the rice paper sleeve and um, yeah I was very happy to find this like I say I wasn't trying to collect uh, the US releases I was trying to stick with the UK releases but look at that it's just in beautiful shape so that's something else all right, now we get into the, the good stuff here, the really good stuff. Uh, we got Rubber Soul. And um, this is, again, I tried really hard to get this in real pristine. The OB's perfect. There's not even a wrinkle on the back. And uh, also complete with the inserts. And we're still on the Apple label. And uh, this just sounds wonderful. 
I've got several really good versions of Abbey Road. I have actually... I have a really early uh, UK press on Parlophone. And uh, it sounds it sounds as good, if not better, uh, than that. Obviously, there's some age on the other one. It's not in perfect mint condition. And then we follow that up with, of course, Revolver. Again, with the Obi. I only buy these with the Obi because that's part of the whole thing. I, there's many for sale on Discogs with the Obi missing. There again on the Apple with the insert. A little bit of... A little bit of moisture on the insert on this one but otherwise um, nothing on the sleeve at all just perfect and oh, we'll come back to that one and then we're gonna go into um, magical mystery tour again this was only a U.S. release, right? It was an EP in the U.K. Uh, so this has the U.K., uh, pardon me, the United States flag with the boys on it. Um, this does come with the book on the inside, as was traditional. Uh, just really nice condition of that. And then on the inside... We're still on the Apple label. And also with the original black and the insert. So this one's very complete as well. Again, the OB is perfect. On these, um, the OB goes through, on the gatefold versions, the OB goes across the first so you can still open the gatefold. And then we follow that up with Sgt. Pepper's. This is number nine in the chronological order of the series of the UK releases. Again, Obi Strip is intact and perfect. The only problem with the Obi Strip, it hides, you know, the faces there. And uh, this has the insert with the cutouts and then also an added little book again with a Sgt. Pepper's photo there and more of a Abbey Road era photo there again this one only has the lyrics in Japanese but of course, the English lyrics are on the back of the sleeve, as they should be. And then we move on to Abbey Road. Number 12 in the series, with the OB intact, with the inner. This one sounds great. I mean, it, the, the quality really does shine on Abbey Road. It's such a great sounding album anyway. Oh, I'm out of order. There's my white album. Let's open this one up. So yeah, we have the white album numbered with my goodies in the middle. So there's our posters. They've got a nice white uh, surround on them. I mean, we don't have to go through. There's, there's, where's my Ringo? Ah, there he is. <laughs> no, we can't have lost Ringo. Uh, there's the insert. There's the poster, and then, of course, the vinyl is on the apple. So these, the rice, the original rice paper inserts are gone, and they're in these MoFi 
That's the only thing that's not original intact with that. Yeah, that's the White Album. That one was hard to get. Uh, I've been trying for a while to find that, and yeah, it was hard to find. And then I've got one more in the Flag series. This is uh, Oldies, a collection of Beatles. This is number eight in the series. This is kind of like a, uh, a semi-greatest hits up to, what, 65 maybe? Uh, she Loves You, From Me to You, We Can Work It Out, Help, Michelle, Yesterday, I Feel Fine, Yellow Submarine's on here, so all the way up to Revolver, um, Can't Buy Me Love, uh, Bad Boy, Day Tripper, Hard Day's Night, Ticket to Ride, Paperback Rider, Eleanor Rigby, and I Want to Hold Your Hand. That was actually the first one I got in the series. That's That's how this madness all started. And then... I do have one without the flag. This is the the blue album, 67 to 70. And um, unfortunately no Obi strip, but really cool book in this one. I mean it's it's like it's like a really good book. And uh, there's John and Yoko and different photos of the band. Um, pretty right on in the era as far as the photos not like uh, some of the other other ones just an iconic sort of second half of their career greatest hits and then I have one other pressing that is not in the flag series uh, but this gives you an idea of the other series this is the Apple Records uh, Beatles Forever series this is uh, Let It Be of course and uh the inside of that and much the same this one has no insert um, but there you are around the Apple label and the vinyl is just beautiful I actually got this in Singapore uh, at a shop there and I kind of regret now not because at the time oh it does have the insert it's just stuck in the inside I just saw it there uh, just the lyrics in English, no Japanese. So yeah, I, I kind of, because this was only my, I bought that oldies one first, and then I bought this one in Singapore, and uh, I don't know why I picked this one. I think I just kind of had a bit of a man crush when I saw it, and uh, figured I, I had to come home with a, a Beatles uh, Japanese pressing. And I remember they had it in the flag series as well. I don't know why I bought this one. Anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to share that. It's one of my, uh, one of my loves that I've been enjoying collecting. And um, again, it's not, just, it's not just for the look. It's the sound. It's the whole package. It's just something that, you know, Japan in general is very good at just bringing things together in, in really beautiful packages and really good quality and really good sound and really good aesthetic and um yeah i'm gonna try and try and get all what 40 of them whatever there would be and um 39 i guess 29 original and then the 10 on emi afterwards so i don't have any of the emi ones uh but yeah anyway thanks for joining me i hope you found that interesting and uh it's the first time i've ever showing a video other than a contest entry or a new final vines vinyl vines so um yeah i've wanted to do that for a while i was waiting to get the collection a little bit bigger and um anyway cheerio have a good day